Welcome back, Capricorn. It is I. Uh, it's Magic Demon Edition Terry. You can like, share, and subscribe below. So do it. Let's go. Today is Wednesday, April 13th. It's going to be a general reading for the next 24 to 48 hours in which all the secrets will be revealed. <clears throat> We're going to find out what kind of energies are in your space right now, what you're feeling, what you're thinking about. And find out that whole situation. All right, again, it's Magic D. Welcome back. <clears throat> I want to thank y'all. In the past, I've had some really crazy Capricorn numbers, like maybe like two Capricorn will watch my video, but then it'll be like a thousand. So I like I like the unpredictable energy. Let's keep it going, Capricorn. I like it. Keep me on my toes. Okay, 44 was on the clock, so the 8th could mean something to you. 44 could mean something to you. Um, even 24 could mean something to you. 24. Okay going on Capricorn ace of wands in the reverse some sort of writer's block or like maybe even like a creative um, impasse maybe a job situation that didn't work out okay we got the higher friend in the reverse you could be looking at a love situation marriage situation even if it's not your marriage the marriage could be affecting you in a negative way eight of wands could be Pretty much in your head and waiting for a message. You could have gotten a brutal message, a brutal final goodbye, something like that. A final, like, I never want to talk to you again. You could have been the one to say that to them. Or they could have said that to you if you're in a, in the, I apologize if you're in the dissolution stages of a relationship. The lovers in the reverse, nine of wands, and then king of cups, king, nine, king of wands. Okay. Two personalities, very masculine, both of them, one very fiery and one very emotional, very much on your mind. You could be now pursuing two different people, or you could be going back and forth with the person with which you had the falling out in with the higher pin in the reverse here. <clears throat> Ace of Swords, there is a truth there attached to a fire sign, or it could be your own truth. That is what is preventing you maybe from being more creative, that you are... Uh, in some way, like, censoring yourself, closeting yourself, questioning yourself, questioning maybe your career. You could be questioning your own intuition. If you look at the Hierophant card here, we have an all-seeing orb in the back up there. You were wrong about a certain person, and that really bothers you. You could be looking at somebody that has a little bit of stubble, beard, strong eyebrows for sure. <clears throat> it could be a good singer. You could be thinking of somebody that really likes to sing. They don't have a lot of money, or you know that they cannot offer you a lot of money, or you know that you cannot offer them a lot of money, perhaps right now. You could be in the outside looking in on their relationship. They could be in a relationship with a woman or a person who is quite stunning, quite beautiful, and you're looking at them, possibly looking at them on like social media, or they could be looking at your relationship, and maybe not all is what it seems on the surface. Nine of Wands. Again, you question, like, should I go... Should I go toward this person? But the King of Cups is the final card and the final say here. So that means that this person is definitely still thinking about you, still having emotions for you, Capricorn. This person, like I said, could be very friendly, very uh, dreamy, very kind, compassionate, but to the point of maybe even naivete, which for you is just not attractive. Okay, before we do these, though, let me do a little bit of clarification. Okay, but there is something attractive to them. Possibly, it could be a superficial connection, especially if you're coming out of a relationship where it was very emotional, you guys were tied together, you had a commitment, a financial commitment even, but you were fighting maybe like cats and dogs. So, with that, with that disharmony, it probably turned you outwards, but there's some truth here, some truth to your personality that perhaps you project an image or somebody that you're thinking of in this equation is projecting an image of having all things together, having a stack, having a bag, but they just do not have that right now, but they do have something else that you want, and it's definitely creativity related with all these aces, with the ace of wands in the reverse, and then with the nine of wands up here appearing right before your king of cups who is your king of cups okay wheel of fortune oh yeah this could be a soulmate somebody that despite all the things about them despite maybe even all the red flags you still are curious you still want to see you still could be dreaming of this person 
Ooh, but you have a heartbreak. <clears throat> a lover's hand. Yeah. You're like, gonna love again, Capricorn. Whoever you think about at night, or you might have dreams, maybe this person visits you in your dreams, you could have an interaction with them in your dreams where it's like, oh, hello. And maybe it's not a passionate uh, dream in that moment. Maybe it's not like a, uh, a sexual dream, but it is an emotional connection where just with the eyes, you guys connect. Like with this, with this here. Six of Cups in the reverse. <clears throat> So disappointment involving maybe children, maybe working with children. You could be unable to have kids. They could be unable to have kids. If so, I very much apologize. But there's a love there. There's a lot of other ways that you could expand your family with this person if that is the case. With either of these people, if you decide that you want to make things work in your relationship, but it looks like there was, with these cups here, a loss. So there's got to be a way for you to move on. And it's looking like the Ace of Cups is waiting for you there. Nine of Rods. Nine of Wands, both appearing, mirroring each other. You're both worried, but there's love there. Two of Swords, not wanting to make a decision. Two of Pentacles, not wanting to balance. Now, wanting to make a decision and not wanting to balance, that's saying that you guys are both wanting to do the right thing, possibly for your uh, respective partners. You maybe could be coming out of a relationship, like I said, or if there's a situation where you guys maybe work together, you have to be cautious. And I think you're both being quite cautious. But what is the outcome going to be of these these two twos and the reverse? Four of Cups. Stalemate. Four Swords and Four of Cups. Two of Twos. What are you saying? Okay, weird. Okay, eight, sixteen. You guys might have might have met at the age of sixteen. Magician in the reverse. There's something about you that you do not let other people see. Capricorn, that could be your secret weapon. What is your secret weapon? What are you not letting these two individuals see? A fire sign and a water sign. Or a fiery connection between you and a water sign. Or you appearing as, I want to say, there's lust here. Definitely lust metamorphosis you could be afraid that this connection with this person will turn you into another person field of dreams in the reverse and ride the wave in the reverse interesting quick aquarius had a similar situation where they wanted to ride the wave they wanted to go off you are like uh -uh, i'm afraid of the ocean i don't deal with water signs uh, maybe you had a bad experience with a water sign in the past something of that sort and something of that type your secret weapon is possibly that you are going through that metamorphosis you're just not ready to share the outcome and the person that you've changed into <clears throat> solitude in the reverse however whether you're ready to or not you will not be allowed to be alone this person will not allow you to be alone this person will not let you fall this person will not let you be sad capricorn they don't want you to be sad they want you to live they want you to live again one more ace of cups in the reverse oh yeah they want you they see your heartbreak possibly you feel like you can't come to them with a broken heart but at the same time, I feel like with the Ace of Cups here, because I know we've had it a couple times. <clears throat> Again, we got one up, one down. So you're mirroring each other. You're afraid. You're like, if I show my cup, will they show their cup? So they're thinking the same thing. If I show my cup, will they show their cup? Well, who's going to show their cup first? Who will show their cup first? Who will show their cup first? Three of Wands. The next celebration that you might have with this person, or the next time you see them or work with them, Others may notice it from the outside. The chariot. That would be the time to move forward. Getting back into a working relationship with this person, whether that's um, whoever that person may be, whether it's your original person that you could be struggling with in a relationship with, at the time when you two start to work on something or have a project together, that is the time when you'll be able to get past this trepidation, should I, shouldn't I? They will show you their signals, possibly through body language. Okay. Ooh, look at that. It's crazy. Okay, nine of pentacles. Yeah, they want to see you single. They want to see you thriving. They do admire that about you. They think of you as independent. Okay, they don't think, they may think that you're materialistic. That's true. Especially if they're a cup personality. <laughs> if they a cup, this person might be a cup though. If this person is a cup, they still admire that about you. And it pushes them to want to be better. That's very highly aspected and coming out as well. Okay, one more. One more. One more. We're going to do the Stargazer Bicycles. <laughs> Capricorn.
final outcome for the next 24 to 48 hours. So, Kathy, in life and love. Hold on, one more. You're scared. You scared, you scared. <laughs> I'm sorry, Capricorn, but it looks like that's your main hang-up here. Fear. My God. An integration. Possibly intimacy. Mm -hmm. Page of Cups. Okay, it's going to be an innocent love offer, like I said. Just a smile, just a touch, just a, maybe even a hug. Whoa, Capricorn. I just got... You might need to hug this person just to see if there's something there. Because there's something innocent about that. That's what it is. Like, you're looking for an innocent, uh, you feel, maybe you feel like behind the scenes you've done a lot to show this person. Okay, just so that you know, you don't see nothing behind the scenes when you're in the audience. Yeah, five pentacles. Okay. This person feels left out in the cold by you. I'm sorry, five of wands. This person feels that they were in competition for you. That's what it was. When I see clubs, I think rods, I think wands. 11, 11 was on there. Yeah, you put them in competition with somebody else. You picked somebody else over them. Not blaming you, Capricorn, because it looks like this person is not very financially, like, <laughs> they don't have it like that financially, but they have something for you creatively and emotionally. And I'm going to leave it there. Magic, you can just share, like, share, and subscribe below. Let's go.